Welcome back for another episode of Illinois Corn TV. We hope you saw our Illinois farmers on the big screen during football's biggest game last Sunday. In honor of Valentine's Day this week, our three stories will focus on topics we love most here at Illinois Corn. First, a focus on ethanol as we hear from the CEO of a company modifying trucks to run on renewable fuels. Then we'll flow into a feature from another farmer favorite, the Waterways Council. And we'll hear about a conservation program from Illinois Corn's Megan Dwyer. Listen until the end of the episode for the part I love most, hearing from our future farmers, the Swansons from Oneida, Illinois. New technology is paving the way for diesel engines to run on ethanol. BJ Johnson is the CEO and co-founder of Clear Flame Engine Technologies. He says liquid fuels are an immediate sustainability solution. Clear Flame started based on some graduate work that I did with my co-founder Julie at Stanford University. We had developed a way to make the diesel engine fundamentally fuel adaptive being able to run the diesel cycle, but on a whole range of fuels so that it can continue delivering its economic value, driving global economies and powering a whole bunch of off-road equipment, but using and, and being able to benefit from the lower cost and lower emissions of fuels that are already in the market today, like ethanol. The Really the one thing I want everyone to know about Clearflame is that making progress on sustainability is about more than just electrification. We have to make progress on liquid fuels. And this is a technology that we don't have to wait for. It is available today. Clear flame trucks are on the road, ethanol fuel, and, and a whole bunch of other renewable fuels are available today. People need to learn more about how these technologies can be integrated into their operation, how it can drive down their carbon and save them money, and really start making progress in the fight against climate change. We don't have to wait, we don't have time to wait, um, and luckily we can do something about it today. Illinois corn farmers love waterways because nearly 50% of corn is exported out of state. We spoke with leaders from the Waterways Council on the importance of waterways in the United States. If I were to tell people who never heard of uh, river transportation one thing, I would say if you flip the switch on the wall this morning and expected the lights to come on, you're impacted by barge transportation. This is not something that impacts, for example, only America's family farmers or companies that ship on the river. It impacts every member of the United States. Uh, and, and even if you're not in a state that is bordered by a river because uh, barges move so many products that go into making it, finished products that we all use. Uh, really everyone is impacted by barge transportation. At Illinois Corn, conservation is one of our top priorities, and we also love protecting our farmers' bottom line. Illinois Corn's Megan Dwyer shares the benefits of enrolling in the post-application coverage endorsement, or PACE program. So it's a great new tool for farmers who split apply their nitrogen and are worried about the risk of not getting that application made in season. So it does not do anything for a yield penalty or anything, it's just covering that application. So if you think about Prevent Plant, um, it, it covers that event. And so with PACE, it's actually an add-on, it's an endorsement to your base underlying crop insurance policy. Yeah, we all know that nitrogen is a huge piece of our, our decision when we're talking about our corn crop. And we gotta look at the economic and the environmental impacts of that decision as well. And so PACE really helps us cover and making sure that that nitrogen application is happening when it's most environmentally friendly and the most economically beneficial as well. Now let's hear from Bianca, Karina, Susanna, and Brock Swanson from Oneida, Illinois. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Back to you, Haley. Bye. We hope you have a great week. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Once again, we'll see you next Monday for another episode of Illinois Corn TV.